First, Team 12's Tram Mai takes a look at the air at Arizona's final salute to the Maverick. Guys, plenty of tears in between moments of laughter as those closest to Senator John McCain shared with everyone the Maverick's humor, hopes and dreams. He loved this place. And if John McCain fell in love with Arizona, Arizona fell in love with John McCain. He loved the people, our diversity, our Native American community, our Hispanic culture, and he loved the place. John McCain believed in our Constitution, and he stood up for it. He fought for it every step of the way. His work ethic, tireless. His fight, legendary. But what made Senator McCain so special was that he cared about the substance of my heart, more so than where I came from. I'm black, he was white. <laughs> I'm young, he wasn't so young. <laughs> he lived with physical limitations brought on by war. I'm a professional athlete. He ran for president, I run out of bounds. <laughs> he was the epitome of toughness, and I do everything I can to avoid contact. <laughs> I have flowing locks, and well, he didn't. <laughs> How does this unlikely pair become friends? I've asked myself the same question. But do you know what the answer is? That's just who he is. And we My name's Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm a Democrat. <laughs> and I love John McCain. John's story is the American story. That's not hyperbole. It sounds like it's the American story. Grounded in respect and decency, basic fairness, the intolerance for the abuse of power. A life that's full, I travel each to paraphrase Shakespeare, we shall not see his like again. I did it my way. Regrets, I you can expect to see more people with stark differences pay their respects to Senator McCain this weekend when former presidents George W. Bush and Barack Obama speak at another memorial service at the Washington National Cathedral in our nation's capital. Tram Mai 12 News.